I'm gonna do a little video today on that uh, new clamp system that I made. But first thing I gotta do is uh, melt some silver so I can get it to fit in my... I don't have any silver that'll fit the gravity molds. I got two mismatched pieces together, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead I got a crucible with silver in it there. Now I'm gonna put on a, I made this ring. It's an expansion It raises the height of the Micro Mini up about an inch and an eighth. When I do the new mold, I'll uh, go ahead and use it. But right now I just gotta melt some silver. on propane there a little bit. Get the lid put back on. Oh, it's the guy that builds the furnace can't seem to afford to put a handle on this. Okay, this is the new gravity mold, so what I'm going to do just for a look, I had that silver pretty hot. I want to see if it actually poured it. Cap that piece off. Cap that piece off. a nice little ingot and notice it poured that full. Uh, even though the mold wasn't that hot. Oh, I got a nice 9995 silver on it. Uh, the sun's so bright I can't see the viewfinder so take my word for it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is snap this part of it off and just use the top piece. So now I'm going to put this, I'm going to endeavor to put this mold back together. With it still hot, She's ready to go again. A lot easier than doing the clamps. Let's see if in the furnace just like that. 
take the lid off, and then what I've done for these molds is I made an expander ring. You just set that on there, and it's gonna uh, increase the height. the expando ring off. One thing I have learned too is uh, the radiant heat coming off of those molds. It's really high. Uh, take it out of the furnace with tongs and set it down and do something, lean over and get your hand by it. Boy, I'll tell you what, it, it it uh, gets uncomfortable in a hurry, even though you know you got the mold out of the furnace, the furnace is shut off. Uh, there's still a lot of heat sitting here, and you know, I am wearing gloves today, but uh, I've lost so much feeling in my hands that when I wear gloves, especially with tongs, that's why I built these tongs with big loops, so heavy gloves will fit in them. And, yeah, I know it sounds like an infomercial, but you know it's important stuff to uh, people that are buying and using this stuff. And uh, that silver is still molten, so I'm gonna just let her sit a bit. These work really well in the the bigger furnace I built. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the steel to make. I think I'll be able to get 15 of them out of a piece of steel. I shaken. But the top of the mold is a lot cooler than the bottom of the mold. I'm smart enough to right now not lift that out by the top. It is really hot. So I'll take a prodder, which is a spoon. And I'll just pick that up. I'll let that cool off a little bit. I didn't get that too straight, but it doesn't matter. The, the purpose of the clamp is just to hold the two pieces together. And the fact that all of the graphite expands at the same rate, it stays reasonably tight. I do not want to open that up. I have opened them before, got in too big of a hurry. And when I took it apart, the part of the ingot poured out. So. I would think that it is cool enough. So we're gonna just do a little looking. Tap the bottom half off and I'm gonna clear it out of the way. Top half off. And we'll 
lay that on its side. try to do is put this mold back together with it still hot. It is doable. is down so I get the top half of the clamp. I set it down. And then I just set the mold. Give it a little bit of a tap. Take the top half of the mold. I don't know, don't take much. That mold's ready to put back in the furnace and uh, drop your next amount of silver in there and away you go. But for the, the little furnace, I had to do the uh, expansion ring. Ah, that's too hot to touch. To get the height, the clamp and the mold and the bigger furnace work. So anyway, that's the new clamp and a little expander for the Micro Mini and uh, works great. Also saw that when you get your mold, even if your mold isn't real hot, if you get your metal hot and pour it in one motion, you can pretty well fill vertical pour molds without it setting right in the, the sprue cone. So anyway, that's the two-part clamp in use in a furnace. Uh, I poured the other video. I poured it with Babbitt, or uh, pewter. Love that word, Babbitt. Uh, so, this is how it works as its function with a gravity mold in a furnace, and enough for now.